Hi everybody, it's Kat from Creative Crafts and um, I told you that I was going to make some molds out of um, the silicone and um, corn flour. It does work, but you cannot use this with the UV uh, raisin. You cannot use it. If you do, what's going to happen is it's going to create moisture underneath and the epoxy or the resin that you're using will not harden. So that gives a huge problem. Like you can see here, this, I had to put it underneath the light again and it, um, it doesn't work with the, I have only this one here for now because I want I ordered new ones, a new um, resin. I have an industrial one. Like I said before in one of my videos, I did that and I broke out with, um, I don't know if you can still see, I broke out with all kinds, I was I had allergic reaction to it, which can happen. People can handle it in the hand, have no problem, but I have a very allergic reaction to uh, epoxy or especially if it's from industrial products, which that's what I bought, stupid me. And I ordered some non-toxic for art crafts and stuff like that, so that is wouldn't probably hopefully it doesn't give me any kind of reaction but then I use this one here the UV rays and I bought a small bottle just to see how it works which one works better with what it works great with this kind of silicone stuff that you pre-made or we buy it it works fine with it because that's what I did with this here that works fine I still need to work with it. As you can see the black dots on it, that is um, the inks. I still just got to figure out how you work with this stuff. Uh, maybe I put two less, I'm not sure, but this is the result of using one of these molds with the UV raisin. And it does work with the nail um, UV light. It does work with it. So it's the same thing. You don't have to go out and buy one of those special lights. The If you have one like this for the nails, like I do, because I do my nails myself all the time. And um, it does work. So you don't have to go out and spend all that extra money. I always have to keep checking the camera. Um... You don't have to spend any extra money. If you have one of these lights at home, you can use this. Because, like with mine here, um, this comes out. So, you can just take it, just like the light, and just put it on top, and it works just fine. Um, I just tested it because I wanted to see if I could use it, because I didn't want to spend any extra money, and it does work. So, that was one tip that you can use. Um, I made these here. Let me put it on a black thing here so you can see. With a very fine mold set. It's very fine, but it's it's beautiful, I think. And then I decided to make one with the gold on it. Oops. And you can use that as a necklace or you can use it for a key ring, whatever you want to do. Add a few of them together. I was just fooling around. This is just fooling around stuff. And I made this myself with my wire, jewelry wire that I bought, this stuff here. You know, it's very easy bendable. I took it and I took a hammer and I flattened it a little bit and then I put this on top of, um, what do you call it, a piece of tape. Like they say, suggest you can do this clear tape, uh, packing tape, the clear packing tape. And that's what I used, and it worked fine. It didn't seep through, didn't do anything. Um, I Like I said, this is my first time using this stuff, so I have to get used to working with it. Like with my nails, when I first started doing my nails, it took me a while before I actually started getting my nails to look decent. Um, not decent, but, you know, I get used to how, no, get used to doing how it's supposed to be done. And it's, find your own method. So I did this with myself, it was a swan, and as you can see, I used this um, with a paper and I had it on top of a, one of these fold, one of these kind of molds, I put it like this, and what happened was, you see the little air bubble in here, that is because it was sweating underneath, 
this kind of mold, using it with UV resin, in my opinion, makes it sweat, causes bubbles, and you'll have a huge problem with it. So, I would suggest that if you do something like this, make sure you just keep it on packing tape and make sure you maybe use this here. You can always use this if you have this from the your thing. Don't mind how this looks. This is old. I think it's about at least seven years old. And it still works. So I made this here with this part here. And I can tell you, I had to make very thin layers. And even, even though I put a thin layer, it still created uh, moisture underneath. And it did not cure like it's supposed to. I mean, right now, it's perfect. It's been sitting here now for over almost over 24 hours. And so I decided, you know, once I made the form, I did the form and then I took it out. And then I just put it on top of this thing here, you know, on, on some tape. And I just started, you know, covering it a little bit, little by little. And, you know, um, it's not perfect. I just wanted to fool around and see how it works. I don't like the UV raisin because you have to work with it in thin layers. Each layer has to be very thin. If you're not careful, it can create lots of bubbles. And like I said, if you use this kind of mold texture like I did with um, the cornstarch and the silicone mix, UV raisin does not mix with it. It sweats. This kind of method, I don't know, the material inside it somehow makes the UV resin sweat and it doesn't cure it does not cure it just causes bubbles you can put the I had to use the light for 15 minutes I kept turning it on and turning it on and it somehow the moisture still stayed underneath so I suggest that if you're gonna use a UV raisin I maybe I'm doing something wrong if anybody knows any other tips and tricks write it in the comment below I would love to know this is just a short video to let you know what happened with this um, the UV raisin, like I said, I used it on with these ones here. You know, these cute, if I can pick them up, these cute little hats with the angel wings. It cured perfectly. I did a small coat first and then I did another one. Um, you can paint it by hand if you want, or you can just uh, color the raisin. That's what I'm going to be doing in my next one. I'm just going to be fooling around and I will make a video of that. And I think it looks cute. It's great. This one is a little kit I bought. Not a kit, but it's a little set. It has all kinds of feathers and it has wings. It has angel wings here. Hot with the angel wings, you know. And it has all kinds of cute little looking feathers. I have a feather here. I can find it. There you are. My kitchen is small. Now, here's a feather I made. And I think it looks gorgeous. I mean, I could have made it just a tad thicker. But I ended up not doing that. Um, it was this one here. So, I think that looks great like this. Every kind of imprint on it came out. And I don't know if you can see it. I'm sure you can see it now. I love how it looks right here. I just need to trim it a little bit, a tad bit. But I have to get used to um, working with the raisin, like I said. Um, I ordered some other stuff, a bigger bottle, not UV raisin, but normal raisin that needs to sit. And um, yeah, I think it works. I think it works great. The mold, if you use the normal raisin, which I'm waiting for now, and once I do that, I will definitely show you what it looks like when I'm done. And working with the inks and stuff, like I said, if you want to do this kind of projects, I suggest that you make sure you have all the products that you need. Like with this here, this has, um, I made the, right, the UV raisin so thick at the first time, and it created a lot of bubbles. Like it, 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 it just didn't see, I don't know how, it didn't cure totally through. I thought it was and then I poured some more on top and then I went to mo move it like this and then all of a sudden I got all these bubbles in it. The air bubbles. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that but I truly believe working with the UV raisin I think this is more for tiny stuff like this or when you want to glue something together. 
um, making something out of it, you really need to have patience. And in and, and my opinion, maybe it's just this one from Decorum. Um, expensive, I can tell you right now. I think I paid 12 euros just for this tiny little bottle. And um, if you want to spend money on it, fine, do it. But I rather just got a big, uh, the, I forgot, don't know exactly what brand I bought. Let me see. Let me check the check it out now let me go on my Amazon so the one that I bought that should be coming soon it's called craft raisin raisin it's um, thousand milligrams and I paid 40 euros for it um, because right now I'm I'm ordering it as a subscription so it comes every month so I get it only for 40 euros but it's um let's read it it's odorless it's non-toxic has no VOCs uh, non-flammable and it says it's bubble free so we will see when I get the order if it actually is bubble free it also says it has excellent UV protection, so if you want to make sunglasses out of it, maybe it'll help. Who knows? But I'm just doing um, this here. I decided to get this because it's non-toxic. Then I'm, I'm hopefully that doesn't cause me to break out. This didn't make me break out, so, and I didn't use gloves for it, so that works out fine. Um, this is how how it is. Yeah, like I said, if you really want to do anything, like I said, these are the things I've done so far with the UV Raisin, the small little project stuff. I started making some coasters. I made some out of cement here. It's supposed to look like this. So I'm waiting for the other reason to come in and I'm going to color it different colors, maybe use inks or whatever it is. But I think this will look awesome once it's covered. Or I can, you know, um, stick this only halfway in and make the other half see through. The, I've been doing so many different projects, like other people, ideas they have or what they've done. There's so many um, things out there on the internet that you can copy. And um, if you do, just always try to um, name the person who you got it from. If you can't remember, just say you got it from where you, which, you know, what areas you got it from, whatever, and so forth. Um, I got this idea from so many websites. I follow so many as you, if you want to see, look in my subscription list. You'll see that there's a lot of um, Ryzen Craft um, web uh, subscription channels. Follow those if you would like. A lot of them have great ideas. Um, yeah, I'm just going to fool around. Like I said, this is some kind of project that I wanted to do and I wanted to see if it actually works. And it does, Like, but like I said, you can, um, this really, you can see there's still some leftover on it that it's when it, when it was sweating. And you don't want to leave, you don't want to use this on UV, on a UV lamp. On the normal stuff, maybe. I'll let you know once I do it, once I get the stuff, and I will let you know if it works out. But I suggest if you use UV light, you'll use something that is actually goes with it or for it. Um, I have some hair there. I don't need it anyway. So basically, this is just an um, update video on exactly what I'm doing here and what I did with it and how it came out and my tips on what you what I think you should do especially when it comes to um, with this here with the homemade um, form what you can use with it and then what you need to use with this one if you like the video and you like my update give it a thumbs up please comment below if you have any suggestions what I might be doing wrong why it was sweating when I had it underneath the UV lamp. It was only there for two minutes and then I, I let it sit longer. thought maybe that would dry it up and that would look better. But nothing happened. still stayed wet underneath. So I don't know. Maybe I made this wrong. I doubt it because it works fine. 
And um, yeah, like I said, there's so many different kind of molds out there and I'm going to see what I can do with it. So far, I think I'm going to be working with a lot other different, with the other raisin that I ordered, waiting for that to come in. That should be here on the 19th, which is next week. And yeah, I hope you like it. Like I said, give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I would love to have you in my little my little channel, my family that I have here. And um, yeah, then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.